please, please remain standing for the national anthem. Just a reminder that the Australian national anthem is an important national symbol of Australia and should be treated with respect and dignity. Please be seated. I would like to pay my respects and acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land on which this meeting takes place and pay my respect to elders both past and present. Good morning, Mr. Elgood, staff and students. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to today's presentation assembly. My name is James Walk and I'll be the chair for today. Today we come together as a school community to acknowledge the outstanding academic, sporting and community achievements of students at Homebush Boys High School. I wish to congratulate our award recipients for taking a strong hold of the opportunities that have led to your achievements today. We are proud of you. We also acknowledge the efforts of the many of you seated here. Although you may not be receiving an award today, the many Triple B and Blue and Maroon awards that have been issued throughout the year are a testament to your hard work, improvement and dedication. Congratulations to you all. I encourage all students here to strive to even greater heights in 2021. Read your school reports carefully, take on board your teachers' feedback and set yourselves new, achievable, personal goals for the beginning of next year. Once again, congratulations to all of today's award recipients. I now invite the principal, Mr Elgood, to address the assembly. Thanks, James. And good morning, boys, and, and welcome to this presentation assembly. And can I also say welcome to all of the parents and community members that may be watching this on video later on. A very unusual year this year with, with COVID and, and a very unusual time, and it's obviously really affected the way we do things here at school and the way we are doing things now, because normally we'd have a celebration with the whole school for presentation day and with our community. But at the moment, we're unable to do that and we're doing year-by-year year assemblies. Boys, I think year nine is a great bunch of students. I think you're a great bunch of, of young men. I was disappointed not to hear more enthusiastic singing on the national anthem. When you go to a game, a rugby league game, grand final, when you go to cricket, they always play the national anthem at the beginning. And I have to say that I've, I've been to cricket matches and the football finals this year, and the crowd sings. They sing... They sing loud and they sing with pride. And boys, that's what I want to hear you doing in future. It was a little bit disappointing at the beginning today. Okay, as I said, it's been a really strange year. We've had a lot of isolation. We've had restrictions. We had to move to online learning, which was difficult for everybody earlier in the year. We had to come back from online learning, which was difficult for some. And through it all, I'm extremely proud of the way everybody in our community has supported learning in the school, the way that you have conducted yourselves, the way our staff have worked extremely hard to cope with that situation and ensure your learning continued and the way your parents supported that, that learning. It was absolutely amazing this year. At the moment, it looks like things are changing. At the, at the cricket the other night, they had no restrictions on crowds, which was great. 
Unfortunately, Mitchell Stark, one of our ex-students, didn't play and we lost. Might have made a difference. Who knows? But I'm hoping that, that restrictions start to come to an end and that as we come back next year, things will be a lot different, although it may take quite a while for overseas travel to change. We've had many highlights this year, though, despite, despite the restrictions. Many, many great achievements academically. We have um, some great achievements in the HSC. And we have a number of, of artworks that are being displayed at Art Express as, as a uh, tribute to that. Many sporting achievements, even though our sporting zone was restricted this year and, and our, and our uh, access to knockout comps and other sporting activities. Still, we have people who, who have excelled in our creative and performing arts, and we're seeing some of our performances here today, uh, and, and students in community service who have continued to go outside above and beyond uh, in, in their um, giving up time and, and volunteering their, their, their skills and talents. Today, we're going to, to recognise some students who have excelled at school in, in many of those different endeavours. Students who have really committed themselves for the whole year and, uh, and achieved excellence. And I congratulate all boys that are going to receive awards in a little while on the outstanding efforts that you have made throughout this year. And I look forward to other students making those efforts throughout the coming years and also having the opportunity to, to be awarded for that at, at these types of assemblies in the future, hopefully full school assemblies. We are, we are looking forward to many changes next year. We're getting a new support unit uh, that will be located at the school and you'll see changes. You've already seen three demountables re removed earlier this, this term. Three more demountables are going to be removed next week and the support unit will be placed there. So when you come back at the beginning of next year, we'll have a new autism support unit of, of three classes. We have a new head teacher for that, su that support unit and he will be talking to you boys about what you'll expect to see with a support unit in the school next year. He'll be doing that over the next week. I'm hoping for some project upgrades that will happen in the school a major project that you'll see, hopefully in the first six months of next year, about upgrading our library and facilities. I'm still waiting on an announcement for that, that to go ahead. As, as, as we draw to a close of the year though, there are many people who I'd like to thank for supporting the school throughout the year. First of all, I'd like to thank all of your teachers and support staff here at the school. Te I, the teachers here are excellent. I've worked in a number of schools and I've never worked in a school with better staff than what we have here. Staff that are just really committed, dedicated and continuously go above and beyond to support you in your learning. When they're, when they're planning things, when we're discussing programs, their first thought is always for you and the students of this school. Their commitment is amazing. Your teachers, as I said, and all the support staff. Boys, I think we probably should give a round of applause to, to, to show that your thanks for all of, the, all of our staff. <laughs> today, today they're represented by a, by a small group here at the Assembly, because unfortunately not everybody could be here at the same time. I'd like to give a special thank you, while we're on staff, to Miss Vidanovic and the team of, of really dedicated teachers who have done all the organisation and preparation for the, the Presentation Day assemblies. They're not only doing it for one Presentation Day this year, they're doing it for five different Presentation Assemblies. Um, and and the, the detail, the, the, the commitment to detail and attention to making sure that everything is covered is absolutely amazing. And, and it's just a reflection of the way the staff here go above and beyond. So thank you, Mrs. Vidanovic and your team. I'd like to thank all of our parents, um, for those that are watching online, for the tremendous support that, that you have given throughout this year because it has a tremendous impact on your son's success. Acknowledging, valuing and advocating for the importance of education really has a massive effect on the application that we see in the classroom every day. Thank you very much for that support. And boys, as I said before, I think when I look around Year 9, I see a really great group 
of young men who are getting ready to prepare themselves for, for their, their future. And the next couple of years are going to be instrumental in making sure that you do set yourself up for that success. Some of you are excelling already. You're already at a stage where I believe that you're going to be extremely successful throughout school, throughout the HSC and later on. There are other boys here that I know, we've had a lot of conversations with, who have not yet settled down to serious study, but who have that opportunity to do so. And that opportunity is, is starting at the beginning of next year to have a look and evaluate how you are going, where you want to be, and really start to knuckle down and make that difference. And boys, my challenge to you, I have a challenge in providing the opportunity for you to do the best you can. And I believe this school definitely provides the opportunity for you to do the best you can. My challenge to you is to take up that opportunity work hard and ensure that you do do the best you can. Starting in 2021, if you haven't already started yet. As I said, congratulations go to all of the award winners for today. But can I say that I need to congratulate all of you who have just worked really hard this year and it has been a hard year. Many of you out there, just try your best every day you go to class, you work, you complete all of your work. You may not be first, but you always put in that great effort. Boys, your teachers notice that. They see it, they recognise it, and they appreciate that. And I can say congratulations to everybody who has absolutely tried their best this year, because that's a fantastic result. That's exactly what I ask every year. This may be the last opportunity I get to see you all together, so can I wish you and your families a happy, safe and fun Christmas break. I hope you, you get the chance to relax and get ready to settle down for year 10 next year. And I look forward to seeing you back in 2021 for a very challenging and successful year. Good luck. Thank you, boys. Thank you, Mr. Elgood. I now invite Ms. Paleothodorus, uh, the Year 9 Deputy Principal, to address the Assembly. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and most importantly, Year 9 students of Homebush Boys High School. I would like to extend my, a very warm welcome to everyone who's present and watching the video online. Today we are gathered here to celebrate the achievements of our student body in academic, sporting and co-curricular activities. Firstly, I would like to congratulate our students and staff on a very successful year of teaching and learning. I'm very proud of the fact that many of our students, regardless of their abilities, have been given every possible opportunity to be challenged and achieve success and feel, feel valued in our school. I wish to congratulate our award recipients this morning for taking a strong hold of the, of the opportunities that have led them to achieve um, their major achievements today. I'm proud of you and proud of the staff that continue to help and support you. This year, as Mr Elgood has suggested, has been quite challenging as we've witnessed devastating bushfires, floods, a worldwide pandemic, which has touched our lives forever. We've been through lockdown, virtual remote learning, and not being able to meet up with our extended family and friends for birthdays, holidays and important family occasions. Despite this, we have managed to be resilient, eager to come to school and meet up with our friends and you've missed us a bit too. These setbacks are there to challenge us, but it's how we support each other to work through these challenges is what is really important. Year 9, you have provided us with joys, some challenges surprises, interactions and personal achievements that make working in this school such a memorable one. At times your challenges have tested us, but your maturity, commitment and dedication has, shown, has shone through. And there's an example this week with your excellent participation in peer support and white card training. And as Ms Chapman has stated, that you are the best Year 9 cohort to be trained in peer support. So congratulations and that makes me very, very proud. So I think a round of applause is, um, is due now for you nine.
So finally, Year 9 students, congratulations on your achievements this year. We have a school of passionate, lively, engaged, enthusiastic young men who excel and display their talents in so many ways. It has been wonderful to see the confidence and pride grow in each of you over the last couple of years. This is developed through the opportuni opportunities that you seize, the opportunities your teachers inspire, and the opportunities that the school offers you. Whether you are receiving an award today or not, always work your best to, to your best, and you can be proud of your achievements. Take advantage of the opportunities before you and set high expectations of what you can achieve. I wish each and every one of you a very happy, safe and restful holiday and trust that 2021 will provide some exciting opportunities and successes. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Paleo Theodorus. We'll now hear a performance of Bolero by Justin Kujima. Thank you, Justin, for that wonderful performance. Now we welcome the Year 9 Year Advisor, Ms. Singh, to address the Assembly. This will be followed by a presentation of awards to be read by Ms. Singh and presented by Mr. Elgood. During the awards presentation, we ask you to hold your applause until the end. Thank you. Thanks, James. Good morning, everyone. I extend my warm and heartiest welcome to uh, Mr. Elgood, Ms. Pelle Thodorus, Ms. Kaur, to dear teachers, 
and the loved ones who are watching this presentation online and to the course and of course the cohort of year 9 2020 gentlemen today is a day of celebrations we are celebrating many distinguished endeavors that we took in year 2020 together we celebrate our academic achievements we celebrate our triumph over the pandemic and our resilience in the face of these adverse times. We are also celebrating our amazing abilities to adapt to the changing ways of learning. And most importantly, gentlemen, we are celebrating our strength as human beings and continued display of generosity and kindness. This year, we, the teachers and students, both had to imagine and discover new ways of teaching and learning adopting the curriculum and assessment tasks to the changed circumstances. And that too, in a very short span of time and with a lot of restrictions. Gentlemen, on your behalf, I would like to thank Mr. Algood, Ms. Pelio Thodoros, and other member, members of the senior executive for making quick and tough decisions of adopting online learning, allowing us teachers to explore venues to do so, adopting suitable technologies, and implementing them as fast as that could be done. This reminds me of a quote by J.K. Rowling, author of Harry Potter. We all know her. She said, we do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the powers inside ourselves already. We all have the power to imagine better and to do better. And I think, boys, in these challenging times, everybody imagined better and they did their best, including you, the cohort of Year 9, 2020. I'm very proud of you. Many congratulations for completing your night. On the academic sides of this year, you studied your electives that you chose last year. In maths, you did mass competition. In technology, you did ICAS digital technology examination. In science, you did valid exam to further enrich your learning. On the personal development side, in the beginning of this year, you invited the firefighters from Balmoral region and facilitated them. When the school resumed after the lockdown, you collected food packets and money for the people who suffered due to the pandemic. According to the Strathfield Council person, our school made the most donations. Great work, boys. It shows your wonderful sense of kindness and generosity. You also got, to for, uh, got the chance to develop your leadership skills during the two days extensive training of peer support. I'm very pleased that more than 50 students have expressed interest in becoming peer support leaders next year. It's a remarkable achievement, boys. During the lockdown, you all became very well versed in using technology and submitting your work online. It was a pleasure to see you, some of you give, sharing your knowledge and helping your mates to adopt to the new software. Terms such as Edmodo, Google Classroom, uploading the work are suddenly very common in our school. As your year advisors, it, advisor, I'm very amazed at your technological skills. This year, boys, I must mention this, that I'm very proud of your exceptional, and, uh, exceptional mental and emotional strengths, your resilience, and your spirit of mateship that you have shown in these difficult times. I realize that you're very self-aware of your emotional states. You're very capable of discussing your issues with deep clarity. And if necessary, you do not shy away from seeking genuine help. Here, I would also like to thank the school counselors, Ms. Kane and Ms. Gurjan, who have always helped you and provided you with suitable strategies. Thank you, Ms. Kane. Thank you, Ms. Gurjan. You have helped the year nines to become a wholesome personality. Gentlemen, I hope you all realize that we are only eight days away from completing three good years at Homebush Boys High School. Three years pass so quickly, isn't it? Now I'm talk gonna talk about the next three years. Soon there will be holidays and we would say goodbyes till January 2021. Next year you all will be back in year 10 and once again you will be choosing your subjects for year 11 and year 12. Boys, I would like to emphasize that these three coming years are very important as they, will, as they would lay the foundation of your career your achievements and the overall success in future, whatever field that may be. So I want you to become more organized, more dedicated. Please work hard and develop more confidence in your abilities. Take risks. Do not be afraid of failures. Give best shot in every aspect of your learning. 
make some extra effort. And this extra effort will launch you in a success zone. I can promise you that. In my 17 years of teaching career, I have seen many students completely turning around and achieving high band fives or band six in their HSEs. Think about it during the holidays. As J.K. Rowling said, the power lies within us. You find that power within yourself. Some of you have already made up your mind and have decided to go in trades. Good on you boys. I'm glad that you have worked hard to gain white card for yourself. And some of you, you are in the process of getting it. We can all collectively thank our very proactive careers advisor, Ms. Anton. I know she has worked very hard for all of you to get your white cards and to find placements in the TAFE courses for you guys. And I know she will continue to work like this very selflessly for, your, for you guys. On this note, boys, I would like to wrap up my address to you. I'm looking forward to a brand new 2021, hoping that when you return as the attend students, you have matured and have wisdom to make right choices. Let's make 2021 a year full of personal and academic achievements, boys. Thank you very much. And now it's my pleasure to announce the award winners for 2020. These awards will be presented by Mr. Elgood and Ms. Paliothodorus. Please hold on to your applause till the very end. Okay, gentlemen, you are doing very good so far. I'm very pleased with your manners and the decorum that you have maintained so far. Please continue to do so. All right, boys. Um, first in Mathematics 5.1, William Lee. First in Mathematics 5.2, Shonak Shrikant. First in PDHPE, Mark Garcia. First in Geography, Ayman Chabu. First in Military History, Kelvin Chen. First in Pass, Jibril Abdullah. First in commerce, Samin Roka. Equal first in food technology, Adam Alacris and Zain Hamad. First in technology, Metal Salim Zamil. First in Mathematics 5.3, first in Aboriginal Studies, Daniel Cho. First in English, first in History, first in ISD, Arav Sharma. First in science, first in electronics, first in year nine, Venkat Vidhi Pradi Mali Mala. Now 
Now, boys, special awards. Shh. Year Advisors Award for Citizenship, Aryan Rodriguez, Arav Sharma. Year Advisors Award for Excellent Work Ethic, Mason Pani, Khalid Muhammad. Year Advisors Award for Excellence in Creative Arts, Marco De Marco Weber and Min Pham. Best and Fairest, 14th Basketball, Jacob Radman. Best and Fairest 15A Football, Aiden Al Assad. Outstanding Achievement in Korean Language Study, Daniel Cho, Siddhartha Kanan. And the Principal's Medal goes to Kadi Ravan Satish Kumar. Thank you, boys. Now we can all give a big round of applause to all the recipients. Thank you, Miss Singh and Mr. Elgood. Congratulations once again to our award winners. Now we will hear a second musical item called Botfly Brain, which will be performed by Marco DeMarco and Tom Pham. Thank you, boys, for that performance. I now invite Aidan El Assad and Zayn Hamad, your SRC representatives, to address the assembly. Good morning. Good morning, Year 9, 2020. 2020 has been a challenging yet successful year for the students at Humboldt Boys High School. We have worked incredibly hard this year to improve and thrive in many academics. 
sporting and extracurricular pursuits. This year is clearly reflected in all of the Bloom Rune Awards that have been awarded to students across our year group today. We should all be incredibly proud of, of how far we have come and the high standards we have displayed with our work ethic this year. 2020 was an incredibly significant year for our year group. This was the first time that we had the opportunity to choose our own elective courses to study. This was the first step of our journey in discovering what the future will look like for each and every one of us. Through constant encouragement and sp support from our teachers, we were able to overcome all obstacles to effectively complete each of our courses this year. Many significant sporting competitions took place in 2020. In Term 1, many boys in Year 9 participated in the Swimming Carnival, which was an enjoy enjoyable and competitive experience. This resulted in some boys making it to the next round, where they competed against students from other schools. Even though grade sport was put on hold for much of the year, we also continued to try our best in ver various sporting competitions. All grade sports students should be very proud of their efforts and achievements this year. Throughout the year, we have seen students thrive in many academic and extracurricular programs. The drum corps and music bands performed professionally and to high calibre a number of assessments and special occasions. The Environment Club continued working hard to ensure that the playground corridors and classrooms were tidy and rubbish free. Drama Club, Bushy Boy Book Club and Coffee Club were reintroduced and allowing students to come together and unite in a shared interest and ultimately improved students' well-being. Interact Club has also continued their volunteer work to ensure that many charities and community initiatives are able to grow and prosper. The SRC and Prefects continue to support and raise awareness for a variety of important causes. Most recently, including Men's Mental Health Month and Movember. We would like to sincerely thank all teachers and students who have led and contributed to these important programs as they improve the learning and well-being of all students at our school. We would like to end our speech by congratulating all Year 9 students who have received awards at today's presentation ceremony. The dedication you have shown to your academic, sporting and extracurricular pursuits is inspiring and we hope that you continue to grow, become the very best that you can be. We hope, 20, we hope 2021 is just as rewarding and successful as this year. Thank you. Thank you, Aidan and Zane. That concludes today's Year 9 Presentation Assembly. On behalf of the Prefects of Homebush Boys High School, I'd like to wish you all a safe and happy holiday. Thank you. Please stand for the exit of the official party. <laughs>